pam 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 the peter dislike show pam 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 i want to reflect on quiet quitting and my art career uh and um, the uh, idea of becoming a little bit more financially free Two things happened this week that made me reflect on how not financially free I am. I teach at Phoenix College, it's a community college, and I was arranging some schedules with some of my colleagues. One of my colleagues has two children and, um, you know, preteen age, and um, he wants to take them trick or treating on Halloween, which is perfectly great. I mean, it's it, uh, not that I approve of everything that people eat on Halloween, but the community building of doing trick-or-treating, I think it's important. And um, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with filling in. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person to be doing Halloween. I don't like the kind of snacks involved. I, uh, I don't really believe in Halloween, right? And so that is great. But at the same time, I don't feel the same sense of reciprocation when I want to do things that help me with networking, right? So, for example, a couple weeks ago, I went to see a lunar eclipse, and while I did have a good time, right, you guys saw me in Albuquerque, it would have been so much nicer if I had an extra day or two off instead of making the rushed trip, right? The whole trip, I was praying that I wouldn't get a flat tire or car troubles or run into drama or... Um, I was really sleep deprived during the whole trip. You guys remember how I had a funny way of sleeping to ensure that somebody would wake me up. Go watch my video from two weeks ago. It was kind of embarrassing the way I handled it. I, I so much would have loved to have left earlier so that I could have checked into a hotel or an Airbnb, right? I kind of arrived in the city way too late to do that, right? And unfortunately, that's my life because people do not relate to the way I live my life, right? Okay, so um, it made me re realize that as long as I'm not financially free, I'm going to have to deal with the harassment of people treating my lifestyle as lesser of the lifestyles, right? As long as I'm not financially free, government's going to tell me how who I can marry and who I cannot marry, right? And so um, it made me reflect on that. Now, I was talking to a former colleague of mine in Seattle, to learn about um, job opportunities back there. I used to live in Seattle. And as I was going through the interview process, uh, my colleague reminded me that um, they change over to, to uh, standard time in a couple weeks, not to forget uh, that it's a different time. Right now, Seattle and Phoenix have the same time. And it hit me, ah, oh, if I move back to Seattle, I have to deal with daylight savings time again. I really hate it. Now, don't get me wrong, I adjust very easily. What I don't like is government telling, fucking telling me what time of the day it is, right? And what I especially, Peter, dislike is not only does government have the audacity to tell us what time it is, private citizens have the, the, the sheepish attitude to listen to it. I probably, Peter, dislike that part of it worse than government telling us what time it is. Anyways, so it dawned on me, that as long as I'm not financially free, government's going to tell me who I can marry and government's going to tell me what time it is, right? If I am financially free, nobody's going to tell me what, what time I set my clocks back home, right? And so it made me realize I need to network with more people with my art projects and hopefully accumulate more bismuth, more silver. Right now, silver prices have taken a beating. I hope to accumulate more. And... Um, Will I quit my job at Phoenix College if that goes right? Probably not, but I probably speak up more for myself. And so, um, see, and um, I'll, I'll probably uh, be a little bit more free to uh, live the life that I want to. See, um, uh, right now, as we I talk about government telling us what kind of relationship we can have, right now, as I speak, everybody on Facebook is crazy about Taylor Swift dating this football star. I gotta point out something though. Before the football star, she had a relationship with of this actor. I gotta point out something though. In between the relationship with Joe and now Travis, there was a time when Taylor Swift was involved in a different kind of relationship that nobody talked about. 
You know the, the time when she caused Seattle to have an earthquake, the time when um, she was um, singing in the rain, and so uh, that was probably the, the best relationship she ever had, but nobody talks about it, right? Because it doesn't sell, right? All right. I gotta point that out, right? As long as you're not financially free, government will tell you what time it is. Government will tell you who you can marry. And there's not a darn thing you could do about it, right? When you are financially free, you can set the clock in your house to whatever you want. You can worship whatever marriage you want. And yeah, if you have to pay a little bit more in taxes to worship the kind of marriage you want, you could afford it, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.